guys welcome to today's video today we're working on a really fun project i've been wanting to do for so long which is putting together a frame to make our flat screen tvs look like the samsung frame tvs i already actually ran out and i bought everything that i'm gonna need for this project and i have it all downstairs in the basement i just really need to measure and organize myself so i know how to put it all together that's kind of the plan and i'll go from there the few things that i did end up buying at lowe's was some ornate wood trim basically to go around the edge and i did pick two different kind of trim styles for each of the tvs just to see if i wanted like a more simplistic look or a more ornate type i guess frame so i have two different ones of those and then i did get some different brackets and screws and wood glue to hold the frame together and reinforce it and then to actually hold the frame onto the tv i have these sort of really thick elastic rubber bands that are actually meant to go in your car to like hold things down i believe in the in the trunk and stuff so that's actually what's going to be reinforcing the frame onto our tvs and i got this idea from exo mckenna's channel actually because she actually used the same type of elastic bands on her frame tv thing she did so that's the idea i have all the parts like i said i just need to measure and then start putting this thing together and hopefully it turns out for the best i have high hopes and it will save me like three to five thousand dollars so i don't have to buy an actual samsung frame tv We're down in the basement right now it looks kind of creepy in here but this is where we have the saw at and everything but i have my little drawing i made of all the cuts we have to make on the wood so yeah we're basically gonna cut it down here and then probably take it upstairs to actually assemble all the pieces guys it is the next day and i have all of our wood cut from last night i have all the supplies we need in the closet and i'm just having my tea this morning and i'm and i'm about to eat some breakfast so once i'm done i do plan to go ahead and get started on attaching the frame and sanding the edges too um, and then we might have to let it set for a little bit for the glue and then we have to prime it and paint it and she should be ready so hopefully we can get it all done today if not we'll finish it up tomorrow it is a little bit rainy outside so my only concern is like spray painting it but if the rain holds off then we should be able to get the whole thing done today hopefully <laughs> So this is what it's looking like as of now. We just put the brackets on and I did put wood glue so it's still kind of wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for like 20-ish minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and use wood filler to kind of like connect any gaps in the corners. And after that, then we'll be ready to like prep it for painting and stuff. One other thing, I did end up getting the wrong screws for the other frame so i have to run to the store and get the correct screws and then we'll finish the second tv frame for the upstairs bedroom
guys so I'm gonna lightly sand the corners now that I have the wood filler um, just in all the cracks and stuff so you know I'm not really looking for perfection I'm just going more for like a smoother texture that way whenever we like spray paint over it it will look more seamless and then for this one this frame in particular the, for the upstairs guest bedroom I got some little decals that I'm gonna attach with wood glue so that's kind of what I'm thinking next. That way, if I don't have time to paint tonight, at least these are attached and they're sanded and ready to go for painting tomorrow. <laughs> So we're outside right now and I'm spray painting the frames. It is raining so that's kind of adding a little bit of a hiccup to this whole thing but it slowed down so I'm just doing the base primer coat right now on both the frames and then I'm going to bring them up under the deck to dry for like 15-20 minutes and then we'll do the like metallic coat after that but yeah they're looking pretty good right now already just being primed with the brown paint so I'm very excited once the metallic finish goes on and everything. <laughs> the little rust spray paint I got the metallic colored one it's like this copper color but basically I'm going to be putting this over top of the brown top coat or uh, primer coat we just did so yeah I'm really hoping it's not too dark because I kind of wanted like a more gold tone but if it ends up being more bronze I did buy gold paint like actual paint so then we can take these inside and add some gold paint to them to make them less bronze, more gold. Thank you. 
so my camera died. So I'm gonna end the video here. I'm here with Maisie, we're big chillin', but um, I was able to get both TV frames completed, although it was a journey with some hiccups along the way, including that I cut the first elastic bands too short, um, we ripped one of them, and then I ended up having to use like almost fabric elastic, but really thick fabric elastic to go on the frame TV here in the guest room. But honestly, it looks so good and I'm so happy with it. I didn't end up having to drill any holes for the TV sensors, but I know some TVs you do have to. And the downstairs one, you just have to like kind of stand like towards the center of it and then the remote turns it on. So it's not a big deal for us, but you could always like drill a hole where the, where the sensor is if that was a problem for your TV. But anyway, I hope that this video inspired you a little bit and that you guys maybe try it at home if you're wanting to have a little frame around your TV. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.